Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for our radio audience tuning in here at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all can be with us. Also, it's tuning in to our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. This is part of our News You Can Use segment here at WYAD, and today we're talking about the importance of sleep. Of course, we've been talking about it for the past couple weeks. That this week is actually recognized for Sleep Awareness Week, and just in time, for National Sleep Awareness Week, as well as Daylight Savings Time, which I think a lot of us are still probably getting used to. A new survey finds that people think they are getting a good amount of sleep, but how they feel in the morning suggests something else. Well, today to talk to us about the importance of sleep and what this study says, we're excited to welcome Dr. Carlos Nunez to our program today. He's one of the top sleep experts in the nation. We're going to talk to him not only about this important survey, but also the way that sleep does impact our overall health as well. Dr. Nunez, thank Thank you so much again for the time. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Well, as I mentioned, just in time for Sleep Awareness Week, this new survey talks about, of course, uh, what is going on with us when it comes to sleep. What were some of the highlights, Dr. Nunez, that stood out to you? Yeah, the survey had some really interesting findings. The one that stuck out the most was that about 64% of people said they think they're getting enough hours of sleep, but 81% admitted that they have at least one sign or symptom of poor sleep the following morning. So things like excessive daytime sleepiness or waking up with a dry throat or scratchy throat, headaches, waking up uh, drenched in sweat, all signs and symptoms that you may have a sleeping problem or even a sleep disorder. And and this is such an important topic because sleep, as we know, is, is so key for us. I mean, as far as when it comes to people, you know, being able to actually get to sleep, Dr. Nunez, what does the survey reveal about what is keeping people up at night? Yeah, it's a great question because it all seems to be the same things over and over again. People worry about things at work. They worry about the things at home. So that anxiety and those things you know, swirling through your mind keep people up. But also, a fair number of people in the survey admitted that they know they're staring at their screens too long. That cell phone, that iPad or computer or even TV screen that you're looking at up until the moment you turn off all the lights is actually disturbing your sleep. Those lights in your eyes trick your brain into thinking that the sun may still be out. And those confusing signals make it difficult for you to fall asleep and get good sleep. And Dr. Nunez, we should say, even though we sometimes contribute to our own problems, as you were just mentioning, that there are cer- certain things like sleep disorders that could also be impacting us. How can someone know if it is a sleep disorder that they're dealing with? Yeah, that's another great question. And you're absolutely right. There are some things we do to ourselves, but sometimes we may have a sleep disorder that we don't have control over um, or aren't treating. And so that may be impacting our sleep. I think that anytime you have those troubling symptoms we spoke about, it's a good time to ask your physician. And sleep disorders could be something that um, is much more common, like insomnia, something that's also common but less spoken about, like sleep apnea, where you actually stop Mm. breathing multiple times every night, Um, or things like restless leg syndrome, which is also quite common. Sometimes the fixes are simple. People are afraid, oh, I don't want to go to the doctor because I'm going to have to, you know, have another treatment or something else. But it may mean that you just, you know, have to do a better job of turning the lights down before you go to bed or not staring at your phone. But if you do have a sleep disorder, something more serious, it's important to talk to your doctor and see if there's a therapy or a treatment that you can um, that you can tolerate for your sleep disorder because sleep is medicine. As you mentioned, there's nothing more important we can do than, than get a good night's sleep. Even diet and exercise, which are just as important, will suffer if you don't sleep well. So I would mm-hmm. say if you have any questions about your sleep, get information and talk to your doctor. And we're going to be sharing a website for our audience here. I do want to ask you, what else should um, people think about when it comes to dealing with sleep problems, Dr. Nunez? I mean, you mentioned, of course, some things that could be impacting it, but what else should we all do when it comes to improving our sleep? First and foremost is, as I said, remember that sleep is so important to your health. We cannot just say, oh, I wear it like a badge of honor. I only sleep five hours a night. 
That may be okay for you right now in the short term, or at least you think. But what is happening behind the scenes is your body is suffering when you don't sleep well. And it increases your risk for everything from things like high blood pressure to cardiovascular disease to diabetes, even things like obesity, even certain cancers do poorly if you don't sleep well. And so it is more important than ever to get a good night's sleep, to take away those distractions that may be interfering. And as I said, again, sorry to sound like a broken record, but if you have any questions about your sleep, talk to your doctor. There's nothing more important than getting a good night's sleep for your health and for your wellness. Again, everyone, Dr. Carlos Nunez has been our guest, one of the top sleep experts in the nation, helping you all as we're beginning National Sleep Awareness Week to think about the things that may be impacting your own sleep. So, Dr. Nunez, where can our audience go for more information? There is a great website, sleepforbettertomorrow.com. Lots of good information about good, healthy sleep, signs and symptoms of potential sleep disorders, uh, even link to our new podcast. It's called Awaken Your Best, which talks about sleep and wellness and all the cool technology and science that helps us sleep better and live better lives. So uh, sleepforbettertomorrow.com. All right. We'll make sure we link that up for our audience as well. Dr. Nunez, thank you so much for taking out the time to be with us today. Really appreciate it. Looking forward to speaking with you again. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful night's sleep. Hey, thank you. And we thank you, our audience, for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now let's go make today amazing. Take care.